Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, sorry I've been kind of MIA on the videos lately. If you did not know, I was recovering from surgery. So, um, yeah, I am two weeks post-op, and I've been a little bit, like, kind of out of my routine. I'm not at work right now, I'm not allowed to work out for, like, six weeks. So, uh, yeah, I've got my first post-op appointment tomorrow. I'm kind of crossing my fingers that, like, I'll be able to work out before six weeks because I feel like I'm special. So during this recovery so far, I've been focusing a lot on nutrition and kind of just hoping to optimize my recovery time by getting the right, right amount of protein and I've been, like, tracking my food and stuff like that just to make sure I'm eating a... I'm, I'm hitting my macros and getting nutrient-dense food and anything to speed up my recovery, basically. <laughs> so far, through my recovery, I've kind of, I've had a lot of time to think, um, and I kind of have been realizing that, you know, the thing, the part of health that I've been neglecting, which is like recovery, rest and recovery, so um, I wasn't getting nearly as much sleep as I was supposed to. I wasn't taking rest days, and so I'm just realizing that I'm lacking in the rest and recovery department, and it's not doing me any good to just go balls to the wall and work out on a day that I feel like shit because then my workout is just shitty anyways, and I don't, I think that's just hindering my performance. So that's something I've been thinking about. I've also been thinking about mental health a lot. You know, like mental health is another thing that is so important when it comes to overall health, and that's something that I have not really practiced as much when it comes to like stress reduction, uh, which I downloaded this, I downloaded an app on my iPhones called Calm, and I absolutely hate it <laughs> because it, it forces you to meditate basically, and I don't meditate because it's just not like, it's not my thing, but I'm, I'm trying it. I'm doing like the seven day thing, and uh, I do feel better after I do it. So I'm just gonna try to keep up with that, uh, just to see if I can like just be more present. And it sounds so hippie and whatever, but it feels good. So that's one other thing. You should download the app if you want to try it. If you are a stress ball like me, it's called Calm. Download it, try it. Tell me what you think. And don't forget to follow me on my fitness pal. I'll put my user username down below. It's just a good way to for accountability. I can see what you eat, and you can see what I eat. And uh, yeah, I, I've been logging my food every day, so check it out. I tried to do a full day of eating video the other day, um, but it was just one of those days where absolutely nothing was going right. If you're ever cooking like a grass-fed steak, you never want to cook it over like a medium rare, or else it's just gonna be super tough. Dexter, you're ruining my life. And I tried, and I tried. Oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, chill. And I just decided to take take it as a time as a sign that I should just stop. So I did, but I did want to give you guys the meal that I ate for lunch because it's a super simple salad that I that I enjoy. I make a lot, so I figured that you guys probably might enjoy it as well. And uh, so I'm gonna leave you with that salad, and I'm going go, I'm going to hopefully get back to the weekly videos, and. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Make sure to let me know which videos are most helpful to you or which ones you enjoy the most. And I'll make sure to make more of those. Just leave me a comment below. All right guys, that's it. Peace out and enjoy the salad. All right, so it started raining again as soon as I started to go for a walk. So I'm just going to eat lunch instead. I'm going to make a salad. That sounded weird. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a salad that I make on a pretty regular basis. I'll just show you how guys, show you guys how I do that. Here it goes. Spring mix. Where? These are like deep greens. So there's that. 
good amount of lettuce. Got these sweet little peppers here. They're really kind of, they're cute, but not only are they cute, they're really sweet. So I love to put them in salads. And they're pretty easy to cut up. Got avocado. Let's get it salt that up a bit. And then I have some lamb chop that I have left over from last night. So I'm just going to dice this up and then top my salad with it. So that's what it looks like so far. Pretty colorful. Now I just need some vinegar and some oil. So you got some extra virgin olive oil right here. I'm just gonna use about a teaspoon. And we've got some balsamic vinegar. It's probably like a tablespoon or so. And that's about it. Now I'm just gonna toss it up and eat that for lunch.